Told you I was coming back. I'm back like I left something. I'm coming back with a vengeance. But before I get up here, I've been here for 45, maybe an hour. Just thinking about everything I've been through and going through. Recovering from a major surgery. Then I get through the surgery and they tell me my brother might not make it through surgery. That's a, that's a, that's a message for you. See, I made it through, but he might not make it through, but he's still fighting, he holding on. So I say this to you, never give up on whatever you got going on in front of you because life is not always in front of you, it's within you. Listen, you in the valley right now. I know you in the valley right now, but God got your hand in while you in the valley. Just remember, the tree line is near. The tree line is near. Get you that tree line, you're going to see the bright of the day. You're going to see the bright of the day, get through the valley, get through the storm. The storm is only for a minute. See, brightness is his light. See, that light, it shines so bright. I'm talking about the son of the son of man, but the son of God. Now listen to me. I'm telling you, the light shines so bright, but the light's within you. Sometimes you put it out by your own self-inflictions. Sometimes you put the light out by your own self-indulging. Listen to me. Sometimes you got to stand up to yourself and say yes or no. Listen to me. You control the next move in your life. You control the next movement of your life. You control the next the next mistake. You control the next the next journey. You control the next. You control the next. You control the next. You, the beginning of your next future, of your near future. Listen, it's all about you. Listen to me. Change the way you're looking at yourself and at your life. Listen, look at yourself through God lenses. I'm talking about look within you and see the future you. Don't look at right now. Listen to me. Circumstances is only temporary. See the situation that you was in, brought on circumstances, right or wrong. Good or bad, but it's only for a moment. Listen to me. You can change the trajectory of your circumstances because the situation don't last forever. But I'm asking you, I'm telling you, listen to me real closely. I've been down this road too many times. I lost so many family members. Listen, why they killed Val? Why they killed Slug? Well, no, that's Slug. Sorry, they didn't kill Slug. But they locked him away. They took him away from the streets, from his family. They took Paul away from his family. They took little cousin L. They took twin, they took yellow. So many soldiers we lost. So I've been down this path, I've been down this road, but why do it feel so new every time somebody body turn cold? Why do it feel new when somebody get locked away and thrown in the pen? Why do it always feel new? Because the power's within, the pain is within. Sometimes you gotta release the pain and release. You gotta release the pain to release and to be the greater you, the better you. I say this to you because the youth is growing up behind us. Listen to me. Follow the path of righteousness. If you see somebody doing wrong, don't and don't and don't join. Tell them that's wrong. That's not right. Just because we see it every day in our in our world, don't mean it's right. That's not life. That's death. Listen. LOL taught me death and sin. God taught me brightness and lightness and giveness and forgiveness and love and life. I'm gonna say it again. LOL taught me death and sin, murder and mayhem. God taught me life, forgiveness, love, perseverance. Endurance, brightness, life. I say this to you because I love you. I don't, I do, I never hated you. I never disliked you. I never thought I was better than you. I just knew I had a different purpose, a different vision. God gave me something that I couldn't share with you at the time. So when I left your presence, it wasn't about you, it was about mine. It was about me controlling my destiny that God had given to me. He showed me that I was a better me. I could be a better version of me, but I had to leave it from you to become me. Listen to me. You can do the same thing. Please do the same thing. Leave from around those and become you. Listen to me. Those will still be there. They will still be there, but you may not be here. So take control of your destiny that God has given you. He gave you a vision. Don't drown it out by the pain. Don't drown it out by things you see around you. Don't drown it out. Awaken to it. Answer it. Because victory is yours and you got to just take the step. Trust me. If you don't take the step, you're going to take a step close to death. Take a step close to the life, to the light that God has given you. He blessed you with a gift. He gave all of us a gift. He said, every knee shall bow. Every man will confess his name. So confess his name before that time is too late. Don't be in your deathbed saying, God, forgive me. Please forgive me. Show me the way. Listen, he already showed you the way. He gave you a blessing. He gave you a gift. It's within you. Dig deep down to yourself and find out who you really are. Sometimes you got to leave the pack. Most of the times you got to leave the pack. Listen, it's okay to be around your family and friends growing up. 
gaining different types of knowledge, different types of skills. But listen, it's only to add to your skill that God has given you. We go through life to gain those natural skills, but we have a gift that God has given us. See, he, he put these things in our path for us to cling on to and take away and take away and build and build a foundation that you can stand on, right or wrong. You got to know what's right. Listen to me. Because you and your family, because you and your, your circle, you think that's it. That's not it. That's not it. Your circle, it can be broken because it's in you. It's within you that God is showing you a different path. Trust me, I know that greatness is within you. I know that you can be better than what you are putting out to this day. I know that because you know why? I was you. I am you. I know you because I know me. Trust me. Leave the pack. Leave the pack. Start your journey. Start your vision that God gave. He gave it to you, no one else. So when you tell somebody what God is planning for you, the things that you visualize, they don't see it because it's not for them to see. Don't get mad at them. Be mad at yourself for not pursuing the dreams and the visions that God has given you. Touch me and believe. Once you start, once you get on that journey, listen to me, you're going to understand. It's going to be unfamiliar. You're going to be scared. You're going to have fear. You're going to have doubt. But keep going because God gave you the spirit of perseverance. He gave you the spirit of a turtle. They're going to keep going no matter how slow it's going to take. No matter how long it's going to take. The finish line is near. Listen to me, the tree line is near. You in the valley, you can't see because trees is everywhere, but you keep walking. The tree line is there. Brightness is there. Life is there. Life is on the other side of the tree line. Listen to me. Just because you in the valley don't mean you're going to stay there. You're not going to stay there. Trust me. Trust in yourself. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the vision that God has given you. He put a gift in every man on this earth. He put a vision in every man and woman on this earth. He gave us something to be proud of, to be thankful for, to provide for our families, provide for our communities, to show others that they can and they should and they will overcome anything because as long as they follow the vision that God has given to them, follow God's path, my friend. I love you. I love you. And I love you. Listen to me. Follow the path that God has put in your pathway. God put a path in your pathway. Follow it, my friend. Follow it. Because if you don't, you're going to follow a pathway to destruction. You're going to follow a pathway to self-hate. You're going to follow a pathway to self-destruction. KRS-1 said it best. Self-destruction, we got to stop it. Take the path that God has chosen for you. You know your path. It's right here. It's right here. You think about it every day. You visualize it every day. You dream about it. You talk about it. But yet you still take the path to destruction. Change your path. Change your life. Get right with yourself, with Christ. Bless your community. Bless your, your family. Bless your friends by leaving the pack and becoming what God has got for you and what he has in store for you. Listen to me one more time. I love you. I love you. God love you even more. Your family loves you even more. The streets don't love you. I'm sorry to tell you. They hate you. They hate you. Think about how much pain the streets brought you. Think how much pain the Lord has given you. The Lord gave you no pain. He allowed you to go through your pain. Because you made those decisions that caused that pain. But think about what has, how has he hurt you? How has your family hurt you? How has the streets hurt you? I bet you could tell me how much peace hurt you, but you can't tell me how much your family hurt you. You can't tell me how much God hurt you because you know why? Family and, and God will never hurt you. Family will hurt you only if you hurt them or if they're jealous of you. Just keeping it real. But if you have no judgment, no hate, they can't hurt you. If you ain't around them, they can't hurt you. None of the streets, they can't hurt you. Get in the Lord, stay in the Lord. Get in your path. Show God that you are what he thought you should be, what he wants you to be, what he have you to be in his mind, in his heart. It's in your heart because I know because God told me who I was when I started seeking this space and I left the pack. Leave the pack. Peace.